Hey y'all, my name is Christian, I'm a millennial, and this is the Millennial Mind. Millennials get a bad rap for being lazy, non-productive members of society. We also get told that our opinions are warped and don't matter. This podcast is designed to express a point of view on the world as a whole, but from a millennial's perspective. I will talk about love, current events, pretty much everything that comes to mind. Come join me on this journey on Speaking My Mind, and I would love for you to speak your mind as well. This podcast is sponsored by Anchor. Anchor is the easiest way to make a podcast. It gives you everything you need in one place for free, which you can use right from your phone or computer. Creation tools allow you to record and edit your podcast so it sounds great. They'll distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard everywhere, even on platforms such as Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and many more. You can easily make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. Download the Anchor app today or go to anchor.fm to get started. Once again, you can download the Anchor app, that's A-N-C-H-O-R, or go to anchor.fm to get started. Hey y'all. Welcome to another episode of The Millennial Mind. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey of speaking my mind. And I hope that all of you are speaking your mind as well. So, this podcast is going to be dedicated to Beyonce's Black is King. If you have not seen... Black is King, which is her visual album on Disney Plus. Watch that first before you listen to this episode because this is going to be my review on the album. So, for all of my international listeners out there who may not know who Beyonce is, Beyonce is a global star. Um, she grew up in Texas, started out with Destiny's Child, which was a girl group. Um, it originally had four people. It dropped down to three, uh, which are the ones that we really associate with Destiny's Child. Um, her, um, group mates, Kelly Rowland and Michelle Williams. Then she branched out on her own when she was about, I believe, 2021, and it has kind of skyrocketed from there. Um, Beyonce is not only known for her singing ability, but her dancing ability, producing ability. She's just an all-around entertainer. So this is her latest album, which she's been on the visual album kick, which a visual album is when she does an album, but then has um, music videos to go along with it. In this instance, it was more of like a movie and she made it available on Disney+. Plus. So... I did not have Disney Plus originally because I was trying to avoid it even though I really wanted it. But then when Beyonce's album became available on Disney Plus, I said, yeah, I'm going to have to get this. (laughs) So I broke down and actually got Disney Plus for Beyonce. Do not judge me. But I really wanted to see the album and see more importantly the visual album and what she had came up with creatively creatively so basically what i gathered this album was the continuation of the lion king album Uh, for all of you that may not know 
there was a live action Lion King film that came out last year that Beyonce was involved with. She also was involved with the soundtrack. So she had her hands in that. And listen to the soundtrack when you get the chance. And then you'll see how Black is King is kind of a continuation of that album. But there were a lot of things I liked about this visual album. It was colorful, for one. There were so many colors that just caught your attention. There was the whites, there was the blues, there was the reds, they were the blacks, just all different colors that just really caught your attention. And it was a very just colorful film. And even if you didn't really listen to the music or like the music, just the colors alone just really grab your attention, just made you want to watch more. Another thing I liked was that there was a lot of melanin. Now, this caused an issue for some people because even the title Black is King, you know, cause some issues with people who are not black, I'll say. Some people were saying that, oh, you know, this is racist. And if white people would say, why this king, then it will be a whole big to do. Well, newsflash, white people have been king for a pretty long time. So it doesn't need to be said um, in order for it to be deemed racist. It's been done. <laughs> it has been done. So let's wipe that argument off the table. But anyway, like I was saying, there was so much melanin that was in this visual album. It was just wonderful to see. Dark-skinned black people, light-skinned black people, in between medium skinned black people it was just melanin everywhere of all different shades of color and it was just it, it it's just mind boggling to see because as a people we are just really beautiful and we've been shamed for our skin and the way that we look and the way that we dress but we really are a beautiful people because we come in all different shades, all different sizes, and we, we should never be ashamed about it. And what was great to see was that I saw people who looked just like me. Growing up as a child and me being a darker skinned girl, I never really saw examples of dark-skinned girls in mainstream society. They will always push out either the lighter-skinned girls or the white girls. And at some point in my life, I thought that there was something wrong with me, that I wasn't beautiful because I was darker-skinned. I remember going to the doctor, the pediatrician, and the pediatrician gave me a questionnaire um, about things that I would change about myself. I think I was maybe about nine, eight or nine. And what I put on there is that I would change my skin color so I could be lighter like my mom. Like my mom, she was, she, she's not light skinned, but she's lighter than me. So I wanted to be lighter like her. And the pediatrician came out and showed my mom like, oh my gosh, you know, did you see what your child wrote? So my mom, she showed me different dark skinned women so that I could feel beautiful and feel more secure in myself knowing that there are other individuals like me out there. But growing up, it wasn't as popular. I'm so grateful that Beyonce has kind of broken that mold and say, hey, you know, there's more to black people than just 
the lighter skinned notion. There are some beautiful dark skinned and medium skinned black women that don't get any credit. And that really, that really was shown in her album with one of my favorite songs, which is Brown Skin Girl. It was on her, I I said on her Lion King album. (laughs) Maybe I shouldn't say her Lion King album, but you know what, I'm going to say it anyway. It was on her Lion King album, and now it's on her Blackest King album. And just the lyrics itself just really made me appreciate the skin that I'm in. So it says, brown skin girl, your skin just like pearls. You're back against the world. I never trade you for anybody else, say. Brown skin girl, your skin just like pearls. The best thing in the world. I never trade you for anybody else, say. Pose like a trophy when Naomi's walk in. She need an Oscar for that pretty dark skin. Pretty like Lupita when the cameras close in. Drip broke the levee when my Kelly's roll in. So when you see the video pertaining to this song in her visual album, you see that she has darker skinned women, darker skinned black women such as Naomi Campbell and Lupita um, and Kelly Rowland just darker beautiful black women that never really in in my day got credit when I was growing up they never really got credit so it was just beautiful to see these darker skinned women that looked exactly like me and and that was just so encouraging another thing that I liked was that I liked the growth that I saw in Beyonce Beyonce has grown so much from her first solo her first solo album let alone Destiny's Child to see her growth and her creativity and her writing skills, just amazing to see and to see the way that she has matured. It seems like she has shied away from making music that would necessarily hit the radio, the radio waves. She has written music that she wants to write. (laughs) That's what it seems like. Not, Not saying that Crazy in Love and Freakum Dress and End of Time wasn't music that she wanted to write. But it seems like the music that she is writing now is more from the soul, more from the depths of her soul. And it's more personal to her. And these songs, they may not become mainstream. They may not hit the radio waves. But it seems like Beyonce is okay with that because this is her art and this is what she chooses to do creatively. And I'm very happy to see that growth and that maturity in her because right now she's at a point where she does not care as long as she's able to express herself within her music and her art. That's all she cares about which it takes a very mature person to do that. And like I was saying, she treats her music as a visual art compared to something that should receive a lot of accolades. I don't know if this album would win a Grammy. I don't know. I I hope it does. I, I really do hope it does. But, or... Well, I'm thinking, would it even qualify for an Oscar since it was technically a movie? I hope it does. I know a lot of Beyonce fans would say, oh, yeah, you know, it's going to win these awards. But Homecoming, which I thought was beautiful, did not win. I, I don't think it won an Emmy. It may have won a BET award or NAACP award. Um, but those kind of albums just seems like it doesn't go really well mainstream. 
I should say those kind of albums or in her case it could be deemed as a movie doesn't go too well mainstream which that goes back to my previous point it seems like Beyonce doesn't really care anyway as long as she's able to express herself so she's not trying to win any kind of accolade so she's not pushing for it because she won a lot of awards anyway so I feel like you won one you win them all I feel like she's won in pretty much any every category or almost every category music wise um or pretty much the majority of the categories but you know she really it seems like she really doesn't care anyway as long as she's able to express herself now those are the things that I liked about the album the things I did not like or maybe I should say the thing I didn't really understand was the African spiritualism part And I know some people will probably rip me a new one because of this. I grew up as a Christian. And of course, my mom, she taught me early on about demons and um, what not to watch or what to associate when it comes to the devil. Now, if you grew up like me and you saw the Black is King visual album slash movie and saw some of the things that it contained with the African spiritualism factors, then you may think, oh, yeah, you know, this is demonic. Now, in my defense, even though I did not um, really, I, I didn't really... Um, like the African spiritualism part, I I, I want to be. I, I don't want to be the type of person who says that something is demonic because I don't understand it. So maybe what I'll do is do some research on the African spiritualism part and get more understanding. Um, I know a lot of Christians, they'll say like, oh, yeah, you know, that's demonic when they don't understand it or when they um, don't like it. I don't want to be that quick to say it, to to say that. I want to get an understanding first and then allow God to give me the, um, uh, allow God to give me the discernment as far as whether or not I should take hold to this or not. But there was a lot of African spiritualism in there that I didn't understand, and that's because I haven't done my research. So I don't want to say that I didn't like that piece of the album. I'll just say that I didn't understand it. And a lot of people, they may understand that piece because... Um, when we were in Africa, before we, we were taken as slaves, allegedly the African spiritualism piece is what we took on to. Christianity, we didn't take on until we came to America. Not saying that Christianity wasn't a religion in Africa, but it seems like that wasn't the main religion. I could be wrong. You know, if I am, somebody please let me know. Correct me. I'm okay with learning. But that's my understanding of the religious history for Africa. So, because all I know is Christianity, I I don't want to say something is demonic just because I don't know about it or just because I don't understand it. So, I'm going to look more into the African spiritualism piece And maybe I can provide more insight or maybe one of um, my listeners can provide some insight for me um, as well. But I just, I don't understand it. And that's because I just, I don't know about it. No one taught me that. I didn't do my research. So, so so instead of saying things I didn't like, I'll just say this was something I didn't understand. But overall, I thought it was really good. I thought it was really creative, really well thought out. 
Beyonce worked on this project for, I believe it was over a year. So you can tell the hard work that she put into it. Of course, she had her kids in there, which was beautiful to see because we rarely get a glimpse into Beyonce's life. So to see her children and of course her husband in the visual album was nice to see. So what do you think? What are your thoughts about the Black is King album? Let me know. Send me an email at mindofmillennials at gmail.com. You can also leave a comment on our Facebook page, The Millennial Mind, and our Instagram page, The Underscore Millennial Mind. Please remember as well that our podcast is now available on Google Podcasts. So make sure um, if, if that's your platform that you'd like to listen to podcasts on, make sure that you find us on there. And of course, I always have a quote for you guys, and I actually have two. And this came from the Black is King album. I have two quotes that I thought was really good. The first one says, you cannot wear a crown with your head down. Hello. (laughs) And the second quote is, being a king is taking what's yours, but not just for selfish reasons, but to actually build up your community. If that ain't the truth, I don't know what is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and until next week, I will see you guys soon.